Well, you're, you're right, right, how's it going? I'm Grant, you're you. This is Dude Review coming through with a new album to uh, give a spin, chat some fraff about whether I like it or not, really. Today we're talking about The Chisel's new album. What a fucking nightmare. Uh, the Chisel are a British band, couldn't you tell, uh, with a classic punk sound that threads a needle between the oi, street punk, UK82 and pub rock subgenres. The group formed in 2020, released their first record Retaliation in 2022 and now they're back with this year with What A Fucking Nightmare. Retaliation was a rowdy little album and that sound remains completely intact on this follow up with a few elements punched up and brought to the forefront. Callum Graham's urgent vocals are brought much more to the forefront in the mix and there's a tighter rein on the core guitar sound that allows additional layers to shine through like the lead parts on Living For Myself and Fuck'em. This honed production style really allows the hooks that have been there as far back as the retaliation days to be fair but the production here allows them to sink in much quicker and much deeper. Moments like the sit in there with your head in your hands part, like where Graham's vocals kind of really push and melodically jump up from the rest of the chorus. Things like this really pop on this album and would have easily been missed without the production being refined enough to kind of create the space for them. And every song in the set benefits from this approach, whether it's the really muscular and well-defined chord movements in Bloodsucker that give the chorus its shape, uh, or the surprising but welcome sentimentality of the dueling lead guitar parts in those days. This is a 16 track album which creates a challenge to completely hold the listener's attention for the entire runtime. This would be true in any genre but it's truer still for a style like punk where the narrow parameters of the sound are part of the artistic expression itself. That being said, the moments where I actually found myself kind of disengaging were few and far between. Ain't Seen Nothing Yet uh, has has you on board with its kind of pub chant ready chorus, but by the end of the track, it does feel a little one note and repetitive. Uh, Vengeance is for me, has a great driving energy, but it's a track where I felt like the band set up to kind of do something a little more explosive, especially after a little bass driven breakdown, but just kind of returns to the same level. Uh, the length of the album in some respects dilutes its message as well. By the time we get to cuts like a knife, as a listener, I feel I'm a little too spent to fully absorb what is probably the most powerful song in the set, a track that talks about trying to replace the anger that drives young men to violence, giving way to kind of self-control and discipline as their responsibilities grow with older age. While those later tracks might need a bit more time to sink in though, they're, they're great when they click and the lyrics of Cuts Like a Knife and What I See tie a thematic bow on a record that underneath the aggression has a positive message of unity. I'm gonna hit this one with a 7-2 and knock it on the head, but what do you reckon? Hit me with your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, check out some related videos linked in the description and if you're interested enough to do all of that well fuck it you may as well subscribe uh, subscribe share some thoughts show some love or just help some abuse in the comments and i'll see you in the next video cheers mate bye <laughs>